This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for your website or online store. If you've seen my videos before, you know I buy a lot of broken crap. A lot of the time it's just because it's cheap and I'm curious, which you probably shouldn't apply to all situations, but for retro tech it's great. That being said, there are times I actually do just buy something wanting it to work properly, and then the world pulls a heckin' prank on me. Such is the story with this Xbox. You can see it is actually plugged in right now, but if I try to turn it on, just absolutely no life at all, same. Now, the guy who sold me this Xbox, and there's no other way of saying it, was Jesus. Dude, Mother even listed it as like new. Are you trying to scam? Are you trying to scam me? Do you know who I am? I will farm your broken electronics for hashtag tent every time. But to be honest, I actually do give Jesus the benefit of the doubt here. Sometimes people just clear out their closet and they just put stuff online without properly testing it. You shouldn't do that, but it happens. It can be pretty easy to assume that since this thing worked 10 years ago when I put it in the closet, it should still be working now. Obviously he's not a Matt KC viewer or else he'd know the Xbox was full of leaky capacitors. I'm kidding of course, but if you haven't heard about the infamous Xbox clock capacitor or hell any of the other Xbox caps you need to keep an eye on nowadays, feel free to click this iCard to watch the video I made about it. Anyways, that's what I'm guessing is the problem, so let's go ahead and bust it open and find out. But first, let me take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. I've actually spent a lot of time writing websites from scratch. You know, where you need to learn five plus programming languages and have some semblance of design sense so people don't laugh at your amateur looking website. For most websites, you just don't need all that manual control, especially when Squarespace can get great results in pretty much just a few clicks. Squarespace has over 100 great looking templates to suit any needs you have, and they're all fully responsive, meaning they'll work on all devices from the smallest phone to the biggest computer monitor. I know from experience how hard that can be when coding from scratch. I especially like how easy it is to set up a secure online store. This is something you really don't want to mess around with coding yourself. I mean, how many times have you heard of a website getting hacked and personal information or bank details getting leaked? Even if you're a security expert, it only takes one small mistake to open up a massive security vulnerability. I'd much rather trust a widely used and battle-tested service like Squarespace. So if you've been looking to make a professional looking website or online store with no hassle, check out squarespace.com. There's a free trial that lets you check out all the features and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash mattkc to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And now back to the Xbox. However, we should check what version this is because the clock capacitor is actually a little bit different in 1.6 revisions. So far, seems to be less prone to leaking and in fact, if you remove it, you have to replace it. It's the only Xbox revision that requires a clock capacitor of some kind. Oh, hold up. 1.6 was apparently April 2004 onwards. And this says November, so yeah, I guess it's a 1.6. Maybe the clock capacitor is fine. The plot does thicken, but we'll proceed and open it up. You can tell it's never been opened before because the screws under the warranty stickers clearly haven't been tampered with. My OCD or whatever kind of likes intact stickers, but in the day and age of rotting capacitors, kind of have no choice nowadays. Usually I just like punch through with a screwdriver, but I'm gonna try something a little bit more, let's say civilized today. I'm gonna to use a small little razor. Um, <laughs> you know, it's not exactly neat, but I do think it's cleaner than just punching through the sticker into the screw. Put it into my very high tech screw box from upmarket store Daiso. Oh no, my 20 year warranty. Okay, it is time to unleash the beast. Oh! <laughs> okay, I wasn't as graceful as I thought it was gonna be. This is dusty here as well. I might have to undust that later on. And I can already see, oh God, why is there so much dust in here? What is this, 20 years old? All right, I can already see, I can already see some problems. Look at those, all of those. All five of those leaking or bulging in some capacity. Let's just take a look at the other side. It really is just caked in dust. But at least we can say the clock cap is fine. Indeed, this is the newer clock cap found in 1.6 revisions. I've heard some people say that even these have started to leak, but it seems far less likely it happened, at least right at this moment. Looks like these five are the only problem, but before we replace them, I'm gonna take this outside and get rid of the dust. Yes, I like to dust things outside so my room doesn't fill up with dust and trigger my allergies. Imagine that, imagine being a retro electronics enthusiast and having a dust allergy. So I'm gonna go and try and get all the dust off of that so that it should all be nice and clean when we come back 
and we can replace those caps. Okay, so I've gone ahead and dusted down everything. There was so much dust on these things, but now they're a lot, a lot nicer to work with. But now we can get to the actual repair part of this Xbox, which we don't need any of this stuff for. All we need is the main board. All five of these capacitors are actually exactly the same, and wouldn't you know it, I have a bunch of those because these caps fail all the f***ing time. Let's see if we can suspend this board in air. That'll make it a lot easier. Cool. I love technology. So my desoldering approach is not very sophisticated. Just heat one leg, lift it up, send me the other leg, repeat. It works well enough, especially because we don't really care about damaging these caps. They're already pretty much trash at this point. What I love about new caps- oops. What I love about replacing caps is that thanks to technology, the replacements are almost always smaller than the old ones. For some reason I find that really satisfying. After that, it was just a matter of getting the new capacitors back in, which was even less sophisticated. Who says you don't get a good workout being a technician? Alright, so all five capacitors have been replaced. I just need to trim off these legs, clean off the flux with some alcohol, and would you look at that, all five caps Replaced. Just have to pop it back into the case and see if it works. Should work. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it out now. Now it's gonna throw an error because I haven't plugged the hard drive or the CD drive in. All we're concerned about right now is whether it's gonna power on. Plugging it in. Hopefully it doesn't explode in my face. Here's the moment of truth. Let's turn it on. Ooh! Yes! Yes! <laughs> All right! Hang on, I wanna wait. Let's wait for the error. There we go. Error number seven for hard drive is missing. Let's go ahead and put the rest of it back together. Now that it's basically all back together, minus the top, let's power it on again and see just what we're looking at. Ooh, with that hard drive, it's so much louder. Uh-oh, does it have a disc, does it have a game in it? Why does this keep happening to me? What game has it got? I could just eject it and find out. <laughs> I think it'd be more fun to wait for it to start up. Well, Whatever disk is in the drive, it couldn't read. Oh wait, wait, no, no, never mind. It is reading it. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Again. All right, what was it struggling so hard to read? Dynasty Warriors 5. I've never played, but okay. It wouldn't surprise me if the drive was in fact dead. I mean, it could also be dusty. Maybe if we open it up and clean the lens, it'll work. But I'll probably go ahead and mod this thing because why wouldn't you? Yeah, and we can just run games off the hard drive instead, so... Disk drive dead? No problem. Hang on, let's go through the memory. Let's see what kind of taste in games this guy had. Battlefield 2... Black, of course. Everyone played Black. Dynasty Warriors, there we go. I guess that's probably the most recent save file. It's dated 2001, but I think that's probably just them not caring enough to set the clock. Halo, I oh, played a lot of Halo. A lot of save files, including two from Matthew. It's like it was meant to be. Need for Speed Underground 2, Shaq. <laughs> Bitch. Jake. Matt, Matt again. It's me, everyone. From what I can tell, the newest files on here are 2008. Whether that's an accurate date or they just had the clock set wrong for seven years is anyone's guess, really. Anyways, I'm just happy this could be fixed. It always just makes me really happy to see uh, electronics come back to life. But anyways, I guess that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this as fun and interesting as I did, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.